Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 5 Minute Deck Tech. My name is Mike. I am your host. This is DDM Gaming. And today, we're going to be brewing Caleb Max's Storm Sire. Let's go. So there's two ways that you can kind of win with this commander here. He begs to be a combo commander. Caleb Max reads, whenever you cast your first instant spell each turn, if Caleb Max the Storm Sire is tapped, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Whenever you copy an instant spell, put a plus one plus one counter on Caleb Max. I took this card into a combo direction here. Some people are talking about making him infinitely large and then winning through combat tricks or cards like Thud or Fling. Me, I'm a... I'm a combo player. So for me, I want to do things like Rouse Storm Conduit. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, Rouse Storm Conduit deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. He also loops very, very nicely with Fork. Now, if you have Kayla Max out and he is tapped, you will get a copy of Fork, which can target the original Fork. And then that'll copy your Fork and then copy your fork again, and then copy your fork again, and then copy your fork again. Rao will see every copy of fork that goes on the stack, thereby pinging an opponent for each one of them. You will have infinite number of fork copies, therefore dealing infinite damage one by one to all of your opponents. We run things in here like twin cast, reverberate, in order for us to copy spells or copy themselves just to have some redundancy the big instant that we're gunning for though is a card called ghostly flicker two and one blue exile two target artifacts creatures and or lands you control then return those cards to the battlefield under your control this card pairs very nicely with Nara Meha Master Wizard. Whenever she enters the battlefield, copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. And Dual Caster Mage. Flash. Whenever Dual Caster Mage enters the battlefield, copy target instant or sorcery spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. The way that this combo works very briefly is you cast the original Ghostly Flicker. That goes on the stack. You flash behind it dual caster mage or narameha you then target the original ghostly flicker to put a ghostly flicker on the stack which then will see the dual caster mage or narameha you target one of them as well as a land creature or artifact in this deck the easiest target that we can get is a sun scorched desert whenever it enters the battlefield it deals one damage to target player we can repeat this loop an infinite number of times thereby pinging the entire table to death in order to turn the combo off we just target a different land it will come in and a different creature which will end the copies this deck is very very strong this is my eight to nine list it'll be linked in the comments below but i also run a six to seven power level list which run a different gamut of creatures and stuff like that in order to kind of feel a little less aggressive on the combo front creature wise we run a number of mana dorks such as birds of paradise elvish mystic finhorn elves lanawar elves we also run lotus cobras in the case that we want to flicker certain lands in and out of the battlefield the lotus cobra will end up giving us mana for all of the lands we also for our instance outside of the ghostly flicker loop we do run things like mana morphos which read add two colors in any combination of colors to your mana pool draw a card now when we copy this even if it's one time we can add four mana in any combination of colors to your mana pool it'll draw two cards which is just amazing value wilderness reclamation will enable our lands to be untapped on our end step to tap him down we run spring leaf drum hold out settlement as well as survivors encampment all of which read tap tap an untapped creature you control add one mana of any color to your mana pool this enables us to instant speed tap kayla max down in order to get the value out of him immediately this deck is a ton of fun to play it is a great combo deck it is not overwhelming um it can be very challenging but on the face of it it's a ghostly flicker narumeha sun scorched desert and you win or Rouse Storm Conduit and Forks. There are counter spells in here. We do utilize them to protect our combo, to protect our creatures. Um, the curve is very, very low, sitting at around 2.02, .02, which 
without our lands it's a very very strong deck it's an eight to nine deck it will do a lot of really awesome things and i hope that you enjoy it if you like it all of my deck lists will be included in links in the comment section if you like what you hear here please subscribe to the channel ring the bell and we'll be back next week with an awesome deck tech and stay tuned for sunday around 10 a.m eastern standard time for our next gameplay episode of over to the tap this is mike and as always stay safe